Oh, what's up you guys? I'm not amazing. I'm just mediocre. Welcome back to the channel and this Star Wars Squadrons video and just as I anticipated the Star Wars Squadrons 2.0 update that dropped earlier this week brought with it some huge balancing changes alongside the long awaited ranked bug fix. If you were like me and you were stuck at zero skill rating, you can now go over to your rank menu and reset your rank and it will act like you've never done any of your placement matches. You get to do all 10 of your placement matches again. And this might seem annoying at first, but you will actually end up in your proper placement, in your proper ranking. Where myself, I just finished all my 10 placement matches last night and I actually ended up near the top portion of the hot shot ranking with over 1300 skill points alongside the new ranked reset we have the forfeit system which replaces the previous lever match unscored system in the new forfeit system it puts control back into players hands and allows you to decide which matches are worth fighting until the end and which are worth forfeiting in either case players will now be fully rewarded on all sides Players that defeat opponents through natural play or forfeit will now gain full skill points and progression rewards. Where players that lose naturally after a teammate abandons or lose by a forfeit will still gain full progression rewards but only take half the skill point losses. Meanwhile, players that abandon will be appropriately punished. Abandoning the game after deployment always results in a loss and lever penalties have been significantly increased. And this is a huge improvement over the previous system where a single player leaving the match would cause that entire round to become unscored and worthless for everybody involved. Now really quick, if you are like myself and you were constantly experiencing the error code 218 even after the update still getting booted out of games and experiencing that lever penalty, then what you need to do is uninstall and reinstall Star Wars Squadrons. I did this to myself and I haven't experienced a single error code 218 since reinstalling the game. Go ahead and give that one a shot if you're still experiencing this issue. Moving on, we did get an awesome balance to how fleet battles progress. Mostly to do with the AI behaviors, both with the enemy AI starfighters and how their capital ships work as well. Starting off with those AI starfighters, they have been repositioned in every single map and their morale values have been drastically changed. When you're on the defense, you gain four points for destroying one, but when you're in the offense, you only gain one. And so this makes it nearly impossible to perform the AI creep strategy that was such a previous easy win. You see, it used to be that a team on the offense would end up having a ton of enemy AI spawn next to their own front lines, making it extremely easy to farm them for morale and keep one's own team on the offense. Where a defensive team would have the exact opposite problem. Not enough starfighters would spawn close enough to them, making it extremely difficult or even impossible to flip the morale meter against a team who knew what they were doing with the AI creep. And now that's been rectified. Not only is it really hard for an offensive team to find enemy fighters, let alone get points from them because they're only worth one morale point, but I find it it's actually easier on defensive. I find myself encountering quite a lot more enemy AI fighters on my side when I'm on the defense, giving me easy access to a ton of those morale points that I need to flip that morale bar and get my team back on the offensive. The deadliness of capital ship turrets has also been vastly increased, in particular against players who are moving slow or close to those capital ship hulls. And this is designed to prevent the mosquitoing strategy where a player can fly directly up to a ship out underneath the shields and do some direct damage to that hull. It's still possible to execute this technique, but it requires teamwork to do. If you want to execute a proper mosquito, you can't do it by yourself because the turrets will melt you before you get in close enough. You will need your own teammates to be in close enough to the enemy capital ship. Take some of that fire off of yourself if you want to get close enough to that enemy ship to actually execute the mosquito maneuver. We also have a pretty decent nerf to the TIE Bomber, which used to be an absolute indestructible tank and now has nerf both to its, its default hull and the reinforced hull component. We have that 
regular health decreased from 2,500 down to 2,000, and the reinforced hold benefit decreased from 60% to 50%. So a little bit less of a super tank with that TIE bomber. But the damage it deals is still just the same. The beam cannon and the rotary cannon still do just as much damage, and these weapons can still dominate a capital ship. My friends, this is the squadron's update we have all been waiting for, with fleet battles feeling relatively balanced, and it's absolutely amazing to finally see that hotshot skill rating next to my name. And with that, I actually feel a lot more incentive to play and stream Star Wars Squadrons. A lot more than the Fleet Battle Fridays you have been seeing on the stream before. So expect to see a lot more Star Wars Squadrons coming across your YouTube channel feeds in the near future. And subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to join me on those live streams. I'd love to see you guys there. In the meantime, I'm not amazing, I'm just mediocre, and I'm out.